It's a sweet partnership born out of a simple desire to communicate. When Tracy Noonan, CEO of Wicked Good Cupcakes, wanted advice from a fellow female businesswoman, she set her sights high, reaching out to Kat Cole, who was then president of Cinnabon. What happened after a simple request to chat on Twitter turned into a delicious partnership. Kat and Tracy join me in studio now. Welcome to you both. Thanks. Thank you. So Tracy, I want to start with you. You gained um, kind of national notoriety when you appeared on ABC's Shark Tank, and that kind of helped your business grow initially. Um, when you reached out to Kat on Twitter, just for some advice, what were you hoping to gain at that point? Oh, I, I was hoping for a response, quite <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Anything. But knowing how strong she was and how, how great her journey has been, I was just hoping for some insight how to get to the next level because I think every business reaches a plateau and they need some help, especially small businesses, getting to that next level. Yeah, absolutely. So, Kat, I'm always impressed by your ability. You're on Twitter. You answer every tweet. <laughs> yes. You've talked about this before. Um, and you take a lot of pride in the business and, yeah. you know, your objectives and what you set out to do. You're now president of Focus Brands, which um, encompasses, owns brands like Cinnabon and Auntie Anne's. Um, other business leaders, when they get you know, when they see outreach from other smaller business owners, they might be tempted to just send them a link, here's some business advice, yeah. you know, take it from there. What about Tracy's story was it that made you want to reach out and interact with the business? I think as, you know, one of the group presidents of Focus Brands, I always remember every brand that we have acquired and that we run uh, started as one. They all yeah. started small. They all started with an entrepreneur like Tracy and her daughter. And it is incredibly humbling for anyone who's just getting started out to think we have something to offer. We should always be grateful for that. Mm -hmm. And then I, I guess as a leader, you just think if we have all this experience, what a shame it is to not share it. It's right. our obligation to pay it forward and give it back. Um, it's our duty to celebrate food startups because that's how we got started. And of course, there's always a possibility that we can have a mutually beneficial partnership like this one. So you're a big advocate for always taking risks, even sometimes you say if you're not quite ready yet. So when during this interaction with Tracy and her company, what was the aha moment for you when you're like, okay, this is going to work? For me, first, the fact that she was comfortable enough reaching out on social media, that she was politely persistent in her follow-up, <laughs> that she was positive and energetic and complimentary while still having a goal. It was very clear she wanted to accomplish not only growth in her company, mm -hmm. but to think about how to model some of its success after what Cinnabon had accomplished. And so that level of directness and determination gave me confidence in, in her as a business person. And then the warmth that she exhibited exhibited when we talked on the phone made me very comfortable to feel that she genuinely cared mm -hmm. about her brand and could genuinely care about our brand. And so more than just giving advice, it became very clear that there might be a partnership opportunity. So Tracy, how do you go from just a simple Twitter chat to a full-blown brand partnership with Cinnabon? How did that work? Oh, it, it was a whirlwind. <laughs> we um, actually set a very aggressive launch date and gave ourselves a month to do R&D, to do graphics, to really do everything. And Cinnabon was extremely helpful. They have very talented people on their team and they were very accessible, which is amazing. And that helped us put the wheels in motion a lot faster. And we came up with what I think is a really delicious product. I've, I've tried it and it is delicious and we'll try them in a second. <laughs> um, so Kat, I wanted to ask you too. So one of your mantras is to fully embrace your sweet tooth and sometimes yeah. that can be challenging for brands with this yeah. health food craze. Um, these products launched just in time for the holidays. What's the response been like, especially maybe with mall traffic, uh, you know, how, can, how people can buy it, what's the response been? From, a, from the Cinnabon brand mm -hmm. perspective and for Focus Brands and all of our licensing and channel activity, the response has been fantastic. First of all, it's an e-commerce product, and so it's direct-to-consumer, and there aren't a lot of products that we have today that are direct-to-consumer. Yeah. So this is beautifully incremental in that space for us. Our fans love being able to click and order a Cinnabon product that comes to their house. A lot of our products have to be held warm and prepared fresh, and yep. the fact that this is ambient brings a new type of Cinnabon product to the marketplace. So from from a pure marketplace perspective, people are incredibly excited, and especially around the holidays. And they're fun. I mean, they're very, they're portable, so, you know, you can take them out with you. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, they're very nice. So, okay, what's your favorite, what's your favorite flavor? I, you've got four or five different kinds here, so um, what's your favorite? My favorite is the kind of traditional cinnamon roll cupcake flavor. Okay, and how about you, Trish? And I really like pumpkin, so I have to say. 
I like the pumpkin. The <laughs> it's always good pumpkin. for the holidays, too. That's a good one. Yes. Yeah. So what's your plan for the future, then? Um, any future plans with Cinnabon, with, with your partnership, or, or where you see this going? Yes, absolutely. So what we're trying to establish is a menu item that will have um, some flavors that will stay year-round and flavors that will seasonally rotate all within keeping um, the Cinnabon flavor profile. That's mm -hmm. really important. So we have two flavors that we're testing right now, and I'm really excited about one of them. Um, <laughs> it's the cinnamon crumb cake, delicious. Oh, that sounds And then great. a salted caramel. So we'll be able to add those very soon. I love salted caramel, so I'll be yes. sure to look for that one. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing yeah. your story, Kat. Thank you for coming in, Tracy. Thank, Thank you. you for having me. Thank you very much.